Alright, so this is going to be a flight video for the Blade MSR. I did a review of this product yesterday, and I did a little bit of flight, but after some practice, I'm going to show you a little bit more flight now. Bring it over here. Now it's hovering here with no input. It's going down, so give it a little throttle. But it's pretty good at hovering. Without any input, it just holds its place. I showed that in my other video, but it seems to be a little bit more sturdy today now that I've trimmed it a little bit. All right, now I'll show you a little bit of flight. Now I said it does go fast, and in my video yesterday I wasn't flying it too fast, so I'll try to show you a little bit more speed on this. zips around the room really quick if you wanted to. I'm trying to be careful but still make it go fast here. Let's see what else? Backwards flight, also very easy, as long as you know your orientation. I'm going to do backwards flight a little slower just because. Oh. As you can see, I'm not quite as good yet flying fast backwards. With the MCX I'm just fine, but this is a little faster. You've got to get a little bit used to it. But flying backwards isn't too hard. There we go. Landed on this table over here. It's real simple to fly once you know what you're doing. Uh, I've crashed it probably about eight times now, and as long as you turn off those top rotors when you crash, you're pretty unlikely to do any damage. It's pretty durable, as I said in my review. Again, hands off hover. Really good. Just trimming it a little bit to the left there because it was turning right. But I mean, it's just holding its spot there. A little bit more throttle. It's been like long flight, no uh, input. Oh! And I, uh, I didn't really crash there, I did lose control, so I turned off the throttle and uh, just kind of landed by the wall over there. I guess that's a crash. As you can see, it's very fast, and I'm not giving it full stick forward at all. I'm I'm about quarter or half stick. I'm you know you can push this a lot quicker than I am. I'm in a pretty small room here, so I'm trying not to do any damage, especially since there's no uh, replacement parts really available yet. They'll be out soon, but it really zips around the room. Oh, almost crashed, but no, kept control. I think my battery is actually getting low now. It's starting to, uh, you can kind of tell the battery is low when the nose starts going to the right or left when you start pushing on the throttle. You got to correct the uh, nose heading more when the battery starts getting low.
gun just ran in. I was, was going to hit the wall, so I turned off the throttle. It's best if you're going to hit a wall just to turn off the throttle. If you think you're going to be going really quick, because if you try to correct it and you end up going twice as fast the other direction into another wall, you know, you can end up doing more damage. So if you look like you're going to hit something, it's best to just turn off the throttle and let it fall to the ground. Again, as you saw, I was kind of getting in a sticky situation, so I just turn off the throttle and let it go down. I tried to show you there how quick it can zoom across from a stop position across the room. And that was not full throttle. Let's do it again here. Oh, almost hit the camera. All right, let me get up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tap the tail to the table, but oh, now I dropped the camera. All right, I'll start it out right in front here, and then I'll take it off again across the room. Oh, the camera is just not cooperating right now. There we go. No. <laughs> All right, let's hope we don't knock it over again. That was about half throttle. It'll just zip across the room. Now, I am getting low on battery right now. I can tell it's not quite going as fast as it was, so I landed it on the table. And uh, that's just a quick video of the Blade MSR. Uh, if you're an intermediate pilot that's flown uh, coaxial helicopters for a while, you could fly it almost this good probably. Just take your time, don't go too quick. Start off going slow and learning everything and making sure you know the controls before you start zipping it across the room too quick. The slower you learn, the less damage you'll do and the less money you'll have to pay to replace it.